Hi and welcome back to Rhinoceros and Grasshopper Tutorials. I'm your host Saki Baziz and today we will cover some more basics for Rhinoceros 6. And what we are going to look at today is actually how you can custom design your interface in Rhino and basically get some basic knowledge how you can actually apply different colors for your interface and define your illustration of your grid or your construction planes as you can always see in your viewports and basically let's just dive into it. Now, to understand how you can actually customize your interface is quite simple. The first thing we have to look at is basically this panel window. This In the panel menu, you can get to the display. If you don't have that, make sure to hit this little icon here, this gear icon. Hit that, open it up, and make sure that your display is toggled. If it is, then you will have this kind of list here. I'm just going to drag this guy here into my interface so you can actually see it. And here you have basically all or some of the display options that you want to actually alter. Now let's say we have just opened Rhino 6, you're fairly new. The first thing that you want to change is the background color, right? And as a default, it's always this light grayish, but I actually hardly work with that background color. So the first thing you can do is, as you can see in general settings, you can change the background color. Click once on that, actually. You will get this color wheel and also basically this gradients of colors that you can adjust. Now, if you want to work with white, for instance, that is quite easy to do. You just select white, or you could just go here and go to the color white. You can also type in the values if you know them, say OK, and then everything will be applied to your perspective mode because that's the active mode right now. I could also go to top, do the same thing, white, and this will update all my viewports. Now, if I go into perspective, double click, and I'm now in my viewport in perspective, I can see that I can also have control of my interface, basically of what has been displayed and what is not being displayed. And that's what I can find in my display tab here. For instance, we have always our construction plane, right? This is my X, Y construction plane. I'm in perspective right now. If I want to see not only the X direction and not only the Y direction, I also want to see the Z direction, I could go here to grid and axis settings and hit my Z axis. Now you will see that I also got now this direction of my Z axis. So this is something for you if you want to have that in your interface because you want to orient yourself uh, spatially, that's something you can set now. So just basically hit this Z icon and for instance, you could also say, I don't want to see the world icon. So you can just toggle, untoggle. And here on this lower left hand side, you can see that you can actually activate that. So going on, you can also say how much of your geometry you want to see. For instance, if I would now draw a simple box by typing in box, I define my first corner by saying zero. I say enter as you can see in the preview it's already catched to zero and i type in now if you don't have your osnap settings it's fine we just type in five 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 um the, we will type in three times the number five and now we can see first of all in which kind of view i am currently i'm in the shaded view so just make sure if you're not in the shaded view you want to go to perspective to this drop down icon and hit the shaded view now we have of course other options to display geometry, which is the wireframe. This is just showing you the wireframe of your objects. We have, of course, the rendered, which is the more advanced viewing option, of course. And the big thing here in Rhino 6, they really made an upgrade to the visualization. So you will also have the Arctic view now and the ray traced view now. I will cover that in a different video. So just make sure right now that you're in shaded. And as you can see, if we stay in rendered for a second though, you can see that by default, this will have some things enabled and disabled. For instance, my Z-axis now has been turned off and I can't see it in this view. But if I go back to my shaded view, I can actually see it. I can turn it off and on. If I just click on it correctly, you can see that I can actually switch that off. And let's say you have printed this box and you can see that there's this silhouette, let's say, of your box been displayed with black lines. You could, of course, toggle surface edges off and you will now not see those edges anymore. So always keep in mind, depending on which view you are right now, you can always customize what you want to have displayed or not. I could also toggle shadows if I want to and you can see now that there's actually shadow 
being cast by my object onto my construction plane. Of course, shaded is actually a view setting that you want to disable your shadows because we have the render view for that. So thank you very much and look out for the new beginners tutorials that are going to be coming out for Rhino 6. And I hope you enjoyed it. If you like this, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. See you the next time.